Oh, she's doing number two for the third time this morning. So twice during our morning walk and she was, you know, saying she needed to go. I thought, uh -huh, perhaps she needs, you know, to go number one, but no, <laughs> number two. Oh, she's checking. Yeah, this is basically the consequence of eating bones yesterday. Yeah, you know, basically she's now having, I, I call them either rocks or like deer droppings. You know, very hard, small, pridna tail wagging. I am empty. And yeah, this means usually she needs to go several times the next day. And she's done. And now to clean up after her. Okay, we made it to Shantrit, the Bishop's Institute. Um, so yeah, the Bishop's Institute and this is military complex. So as I said before, uh, and today usually we go in that direction, you know. But today, as I said before, we will go around. Uh, and we will go on, uh, let's say, explore the edge of the field. Usually walk, we walk, you know, to the middle of the field. This is um, the, you know, and it comes, so underpass. For the, you know, for safely crossing the railway. So, uh, okay, let's go through once again through the brief history of the institute. So, built just before the First World War as the first Slovenian, complete Slovenian language in gymnasium. We had, of course, previous. In previous times we had gymnasiums, you know, but they were, you know, German language. Well, German language uh, without the D. And yeah, so during the Second World War, this part of Shintwit, so Shintwit was at that time like an independent village just north of Ljubljana, now it's basically a district, you know, in or off Ljubljana. But so uh, while majority of Ljubljana was occupied by Italians, Germans seized uh, Schentwit, you know, due to the railway. And also, they also ceased to occupy the Bishop's Institute. Uh, so here was a concentration camp, well, transfer camp, um, Gestapo was here, and later uh, some military units were stationed here. There also could be uh, military like warehouses here, but I think they were a little bit in the, in the, in the building of the elementary school. There is also because it was, you know, quite a large building that they also could utilize it as a sort of warehouse. There was also a plan to put in uh, at least one department of the German military um, hospital here. But so far I haven't uh, found um, any documents that, that it would confirm this. So yeah. Um, in May 45, you know, war is ended. Um, partisans liberated Slovenia as part of the, you know, Allied coalition. Um, and they were communists. So instead of returning the property to the church, they had seized it themselves. And this complex became military barracks, well, continuing on from the German occupation. 
in the years and decades following the Second World War. So they built additional structures, additional warehouses uh, around the original building. And so now basically the basically the shape is like this, you know, in the military complex is in like an L shape. Lizzy eating once again eating, still eating the let's say nothing beats as a fresh wood. Uh, so they in the L shape, so and let's say the the old building is right here. And then in 91, you know, Slovenia got independence. And uh, later, in later years, the original, you know, building of the institute was returned. Was returned to the Catholic Church. And now they have inside, once, ag they once again, uh, re-established the... Uh, the gymnasium and now they also have inside um, student um, student dormitories for the gymnasium students and the university students um, there is also elementary school uh, kindergarten radio um, another in research institute um, I do, do I? It's, and I think uh, one publishing house or not? No, several things are inside. While the, while the you know military buildings that were built after the war remained. as the property of Slovenian armed forces. Ja lizi, no? Ja gus pasje sprehaja. So one time I have, I think I have already filmed a couple of videos here. Um, several years ago, mom and one of her friends rented a piece of, you know, land, you know, for gardening. And we have been there well, we have visited her while she was, you know, working here a couple of times or went with her, you know, and then we were just walking around here. But Lisa was still a puppy, well, puppy, a year or two old. So, yeah, you can see, you know, the old building. This is the new um, gym building that belongs to the... Uh, gymnasium to the Bishop's Institute and a little bit there behind the bushes is the military complex let's say the back end the main end so the building that I shown you before which you now cannot see you know behind the where the military complex started you know to the right of the main site of the Institute um, there is the military medical unit um, so headquarters of the military medical unit and you know because Slovenian military is so small we don't actually have you know like independent military hospital so if anything goes wrong in the military you get sent at you know civilian hospitals so primary function of this military medical unit is um, you know to provide health health checks for the candidates and the the military personnel plus and also you know to accompany a compi to a compi to participate to participate on, you know, foreign uh, missions. Okay, so now we have better view. So the railway tracks are there. The old 
the old institute building of the institute the new um, gym sports facility that belongs to the institute and from here to all the way to there is the let's say the back end of the military complex And of course, they are efficient with Vizmare in their direction, Medvode, dra uh, Medvode brought in their direction, and so forth. Okay, we will end on this point and continue when we will be a little bit closer to that side of the complex.